Dear participants of the Black Sea Ports and Shipping 2020 in Istanbul, uh, best regards from Germany, from Bremerhaven. Unfortunately, I'm not able to join you on site, but uh, thanks to the organizers, uh, Rory and Ajay with their team, uh, they uh, made it possible that I'm talking to you in this way. Thank you very much for that. So I will talk about uh, the digital port and um, how to use the digitization as a base for big pictures, which will allow you to revolutionize your processes. What will you hear from me a short introduction about our company, some words about digitization, which leads to a big amount of data and how to visualize this. I will show you big pictures and then we will come to the conclusion. So first, um, we, the Aquinet group, we are um, 23 smaller companies working together in the field of IT. We have some, together we have some 100, 900 employees with uh, a yearly turnover of 124 euros. And as you see on the right hand side, we are doing everything around IT, starting with uh, providing data centers up to looking at SAP and Microsoft solutions, individual, individual solutions that what we are doing and we are mainly looking at the logistics at the with our Aquinet port consulting. Within uh, with this company, we have more than 30 years uh, experience in the field of ports and terminals, and especially in the field of, uh, yes, optimizing processes with the help of uh, simulation and uh, virtual terminals. But today I will talk about uh, more or less about the visualization. We are quite successful. You will get the slides, I think, from the organizers. So I won't go through the list of references. And uh, we are supporting ports and terminals from the first idea, as you see on the left-hand side, port IC and process design up to optimizing the running terminal. And uh, one big point that we are looking at is also train the people, train the people on the terminals, how to use their, uh, or how to optimize their processes and how to use their IT systems. So let's uh, go to the digitization. What is uh, this? Is this a new technology? Everybody is talking about it in the, at the moment, but I think it's an ongoing process. So. Let's have a look at, uh, for example, the yard planning on the container terminal. When I started at HHLA in the beginning of the 90s, um, there were some boards on the wall like these, where some cards were picked, uh, picked in, put in to uh, show where the containers are. Of course, uh, also at that time, we started to um, type in the first data from containers. And nowadays, uh, you know, and this is uh, digitization at all. We are not only typing in data um, from papers, as we saw before, but we are exchanging data. We are not getting only information about the goods, but also uh, getting from sensors a lot of information about uh, the equipment and the state of the operation on the terminal. And how to present it to the user. Typically, you will know some of these views. These are uh, examples out of various TOS things. You see a lot of tables on the right hand side um, and some pictures, uh, some yeah, structured picture from the layout of the terminal. And it looks. Um, similar in all the TOS systems that you get. But what about this view? Why don't you show the container as uh, if you would like, uh, if you would 
look out of the window. Yes, having a 3D view of your terminal. So example for that, this is a terminal in, in Hamburg, doing some 2 million TU a year, and um, the yard view visualizes the yard. But it also shows you where are the boxes for the next triple E vessel that will come this evening. How many restores will occur by loading the vessel? Are the hazardous stacked properly? How utilized are my stacks and my areas? And all these questions you can uh, be supported with, uh, yes, a graphical view, a 3D view, a real view of your terminal. For example, uh, just to show you one picture, uh, here the containers are colored by their weight. So the yellow ones are less do have less than uh, five tons metric tons the next one orange is about uh, five to ten tons and so on so you see the um, weight of the container in the color and also uh, as mentioned before you can also show the containers that will leave with a specific vessel so why to use this because uh, i think you know this word a picture so shows more than thousand words yeah, people are thinking in pictures. They, are, they like to read. I like to read books. But uh, to understand something very easy, it's better to have a picture. And it's more intuitive than 100 tables, of course. So in all these data are coming to uh, all this information uh, is coming with digitization into big databases. So one example that we did with Acrinet Group is uh, still the forklift truck supplier. They are maintaining more than 30,000 forklifters worldwide. Each forklift sends uh, data out of eight to 10 sensors and it may become more and more, or will become more and more. This means some 1 million messages per day are generated and um, how to understand this big amount of data. Yes. IT systems, just a small picture, don't look too deep into it. Um, IT systems controlling your terminal, managing your terminal, optimizing the processes on your terminal, they need this data. So with, with uh, the help of artif artificial intelligence, AI, um, they are analyzing the data and with this analysis, uh, they optimize the processes. But um, the IT, uh, the computers, they like to have numbers. Yes? They um, zeros and ones. That's the base of uh, uh, each computer. But people, again, they are thinking more in pictures. So you need big data centers. This is a picture of our data center, which is used by the northern German counties for all the administration. Um, there's a lot of, uh, it, yes, of information that you need, but you cannot, the pe man cannot understand it. Looking at these computers doesn't help you. Looking at a lot of tables doesn't help you, but you have to have big pictures. And if you look at terminal productivity or Let's also say terminals efficiency. It depends on, of course, on the type of equipment that you are using, on the control system, again, that you are using, but also on the process automation, how many data is available. And, and this is a thing we are uh, looking for, for the next decades, one or two decades, we, we will have, uh, or the main topic will be the terminal stuff, the control people that are planning the operation, they are very important. And to bring them in a best way, how to understand the operation, our idea is to say, okay, let's have different levels of the view. So first start with a global view, you have a map. And on this map, you see now some your ports and you see, though, what is happening there over in Asia? Let's have a look into the terminal. And this is the next level, the terminal level. 
here again we try to um, show the operation uh, also in a graphical way, like you see it uh, down here. Each line is one piece of equipment and the colors are showing what are they doing. Vessel load and discharge, truck in and out and so on. And there are also, we will see this later, uh, some red crosses meaning waiting times, showing waiting times. But uh, in, in this view, this is a very special one uh, evaluation. It's the overall equipment effectiveness. This is combining the utilization of the equipment and the productivity of the equipment on the other side. And putting all together in one number. So for the whole terminal, you see one value over here. Then you may go to the key side. You may go to each single vessel, to each single crane and to the equipment, also the transport equipment running for this crane to get the number, what is the current OEE value of the terminal. And here you see again, perhaps you may see it, there are red crosses here at the key cranes, they have to wait for the trucks to bring containers. And then if you find a bottleneck, you can go again deeper one level and this is uh, the 3d visualization of the terminal again it's a live view you really see that this straddle carrier is running but you don't only see queuing perhaps of uh, equipment you also may click on the uh, on the straddle carrier and you will get the information about the productivity about uh, what is the share of operation time waiting time and uh, jobs done so far and you might also click on containers to get information about all properties. You see, this is only a very small part of the information you have in your database about the containers. So this is the most detailed level of the views. So for the conclusion, uh, I like this picture. I uh, took it in a uh, control room of uh, a huge container terminal and you see one guy in the middle scratching his head. What will happen next? And also with uh, these, uh, yeah, uh, we call it also digital twin, these pictures from the terminal, you may also look into the future a little bit. Will the vessel be served within time? And so on. So, and with this information, you may become proactive in your planning and in your controlling the terminal instead of reacting only on bottlenecks that already occurred. Look into the future. And something that will help you is uh, the visualization of the current state globally with a word map, innovative dashboards with the OEE evaluation and up to a really 3D visualization, which shows you more than only the view out of the window. It also gives you information about everything from your equipment, also charging state of the batteries, air pressure of uh, the wheels, whatever. And use this 3D visualization also to train your stuff to find the best way of operation of your terminal. And as mentioned before, become proactive. Okay, unfortunately, we cannot talk in the next break because uh, yes, I'm sitting here in Bremerhaven. You are able to sit in uh, Istanbul. I really look forward to meet you there, but it's not possible for me. So. Um, yes, get in touch with me, write me an email, give me a call, or have a look at our website. It's the www.aquinet.de or com and then slash port consulting. This will bring you directly to our part of the Aquinet to the port consulting. Thank you very much. This was uh, Yes, as you see, Holger Schütt from Aquinet. I'm looking forward to get in touch with you. 
And now I'd like to ask Ajay to start a small video, which is showing also what we are doing for your industry. Have a very good second day and hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.